Okay, here we've got a little Craftsman 6 inch lathe. This is actually made by the Atlas Press Company, Kalamazoo, Michigan. It's approximately mid 50s. It's in tremendously good condition. It's a good little model maker's lathe. Uh, it's got uh, change wheels, etc. We'll go through that in a minute. I just want to mention uh, that it's actually got uh, two steps here on the uh, motor to the, to the counter shaft, and then eight steps from the uh, counter shaft to the headstock, plus a uh, back gear and uh, direct drive. So it's got actually 16 speeds, which is pretty phenomenal. Uh, I'm going to fire it up. We're going to show how it cuts. And it uh, leaves a very nice finish on this aluminum workpiece. Uh, it does cut steel. I have cut steel with it, but uh, it's better suited to aluminum or uh, softer materials. So it will cut steel, but uh, it takes uh, quite a bit of uh, uh, accuracy in sharpening the tool bit. We'll go over some of the uh, features of the lathe and some of the tooling that it comes with. Uh, one of the really interesting things about the lathe is it's actually got a built-in indexing system right here in the uh, bull gear. The bull gear's got 60 holes in this face and this pin slides in to engage the, uh, the hole. So it's really uh, uh, well set up if you want to index something in the, in the uh, uh, chuck. So that's all set up for that. The back gear is also uh, part of this. Here's the back gear pin. One pulls that out and engages this lever for back gear. I guess we can show that right now. It's easier to do with a screwdriver than it is with your fingers. So here's the back gear engaged. That brings the speed down and actually the speed will go down. Another uh, three steps we can uh, move this belt over move this one over uh, two more so it'll go down quite a bit lower than that but that's just to demonstrate the back gear in operation to uh, reset it or to get it back into direct drive you just pull that back and then uh, push this in and then it's back in direct drive okay so that's the uh, function of the lathe I'll just show it without the uh, lead screw engaged how quiet it is It's got a threaded spindle nose on it and uh, it actually comes with several uh, nice pieces of equipment. So this chuck, the three jaw, these are the uh, external jaws. The internal jaws are right here. They're still, still in their uh, paper wrapper. I don't think they've ever been installed in the chuck. It's got the original chuck key with the ejecting spring on it. It's got uh, the original uh, wrench. This wrench fits the uh, tail stack nut. And then this one fits the uh, the tool holder. Here we've got a four jaw chuck. Comes with a four jaw chuck and the uh, corresponding chuck wrench. Face plate, dead center, and lathe dogs, as well as the change gears for the outboard gear train. It's got a uh, nice cupboard. The cupboard's got uh, ten. Oh, I guess it's a dozen drawers and a, a large uh, uh, large open area. The, uh, some of the additional tooling, it's got tool bit holders that are actually smaller. This will take a 5 sixteenths directly in the tool post. Then you can also use the tool holders that came with it. They're all badge craftsmen. They're all in great condition. This is a, uh, I believe this is called a right hand turning uh, holder. This is a left hand straight, a uh, cutoff holder, and a knurling tool. It's got that uh, equipment with it. It's got a bunch of bits, including a, a cutoff bit. The, this is the actual tool that uh, engages the workpiece cutoff, and a bunch of other miscellaneous tools. 
Now here it actually is also set up as a wood turning lathe in that it has a Morse taper 2 spindle socket in the uh, or socket in the spindle nose and it will accept this uh, spur drive uh, dog or uh, center spur center for that uh, headstock. It's got a uh, Morse taper 1 in the tailstock and uh, it's got both a, a, a standard uh, a three jaw drill chuck and it's got a, a drill pad, which is nice for doing uh, drilling. You actually can essentially turn your lathe into a drill press. It's got a couple of other, uh, it's got a cone uh, tailstock center for the woodworking again, and then it's got a standard dead center for the uh, tailstock. So uh, as I mentioned earlier, it's got a dead center for the headstock and one for the, actually two for the tailstock. So that's some of the tooling that it comes with. The uh, outboard gear train looks to be in terrific condition. I see no brakes on any of the gears. There's not, not a brake on them. The original table is still here. Here's the outboard gear train. Uh, all the back gearing and everything looks perfect on it. Here's the bull gear. It looks great. So everything looks good on it. The uh, As we demonstrated, the traverse works. The uh, It's got a threading dial. Which is handy for threading. It's just disengaged from the from the uh, lead screw at this point, but the threading dial is right there. So it's got uh, pretty much everything that uh, a lathe needs. It's a small one, but uh, very works very very well. This is Lucas signing off.